Welcome to FluteChats.com, a flute podcast with host Viviana Guzman. My name is Viviana Guzman, and I'm here at the National Flute Association. And this morning, I have my guest, Greg Patillo. <laughs> All right. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for, I mean, what a pleasure it is to, to know you, to hear you, the sensation you've created. How did you do it? I mean, how I know you, you've told me that it's just, it was just a love, and, and it just, yeah. but how I, you've totally revolutionized flute. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, my success has come out of my frustration with finding a job, coming out of school. So I actually trained in the classical arts my entire life and went all the way through a master's degree program. And then after school, I, I was teaching extensively and I was looking for places to perform and I was trained to perform in orchestras and I couldn't win a job. And um, this drove me nuts, but it was the case. And so I thought I would mix things up and start moving around a little. And I moved to um, the Bay Area. I moved to San Francisco. Oh. And um, that wasn't where I was born and raised. And that wasn't where I went to school. So I had no colleagues there. And so um, I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't even teach out there, actually. And so um, I'm actually extremely musical in nature. Like, I love to play the flute, and I love to perform on the flute. And so I really seek ways to make that happen. And for me, one of the ways was um, through street performing. And I've always been a street performer, um, even when I was young. That was how I would earn, like, holiday money. Like, uh, growing up, I would put my case out and play classical uh, music, and, and slowly I got into improvisation. And, and as I was playing around with this as a street performer in San Francisco, I started to realize that beatboxing blended really well with flute. And then I moved to New York, and I made a video, and um, it just went viral, and I'm, I'm able to be a beatboxing flute player these days. It's so amazing. He's the king. <laughs> He's the man. Oh, my God. And what a wonderful, powerful, inspiring story of incredible, what is it, uh, crisis mm -hmm. and turning it into opportunity. Right. Isn't yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's luck. And, uh, you know, when you get an opportunity and everyone out there is going to get some opportunity and chances are you're going to get multiple opportunities. And if you can kind of be prepared to take advantage of those opportunities through your education or through the colleagues that you know, or your friends, or maybe even the repertoire that you play, that you can take advantage of these opportunities and kind of hit the ground running when they swing your way. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Awesome. Yes. So, uh, so get to work, everybody. <laughs> And start getting out and making your own opportunities out there. That's right. Oh, my God. This, Yeah, that's exactly right on. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I've always said that it's important to look for your own creativity. Put, I, I just put everything that I love and I th throw it on the stage and then make my own thing. And I think I always think everyone has, we all have our own innate talents, you know. Right. That's and right. I love that you say that you know you were trying to get an orchestra job and and whatever and that and then so you just did your own thing and that is what has made you just uh, the star that you are. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. Well. Right um, anything else that you'd like to offer as advice for these young people out there, aspiring flutists and musicians? Well, it's a do-it-yourself world these days. It is. And and um, you can learn to do anything. You can learn to play the flute. And you can learn to be computer literate, yeah. and you can learn to make videos, yeah. and you can learn to sound record <laughs> and edit these things, and you can learn to make web pages, and you can learn to ne socially network. Uh, and um, I would say that no one else is going to work harder for you than yeah, yourself. You. Yeah, than you. Yeah. So don't wait for someone else to make it happen. Make it happen yourself. Yeah. And and learn. Look, anything you want to learn, would be it. Uh, putting a, a roof on your house, although that might take a little bit of work, you know, <laughs> roofing a house, but, uh, or, you know, um, learning how to beatbox on the flute, say, you can, you can learn through Google. Okay. You know, you can type yeah. these things and you can slowly but surely learn anything you set out to learn. Awesome. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Can you tell us uh, what do you have coming up in the near future? You have a lot coming up, I think. <laughs> I do have a lot coming up. I work um, predominantly with my trio, the Project Trio, uh-huh. um, and which is flute, cello, and bass. We're at projecttrio.com, and you can find our schedule there. But we're doing an event with Eva Amsler out in Austria uh-huh. um, in October, and we're going down to Houston for a residency for a week uh, and back to Texas. Uh, we're coming back here to Charlotte, uh, Cinco de Mayo to play with the orchestra here and we have orchestra gigs lined up in glendale and uh st louis as well so um that's on the future agenda sounds great and and how can we get a hold of you see watch your career what's your website uh well projecttrio.com is uh is the best place to get in touch with me um, and my YouTube channel is um, called Freedom Works Films, and that's where all of our videos go up. And um, please contact me. I'd love to talk to anybody out there, and anyone that has any interest in playing the flute and having fun playing the flute, I want to talk to you. I want to hear your story, and I'd love to share anything I can as well. Fabulous. Beautiful story. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you. This is Greg Patillo, the man. (laughs) I'm Viviana Guzman, and this has been reporting from the National Flute Association 2011. Yeah.